Maybe that one. Adventure Adrift, we hit the road driving across California and Nevada for Ty to do some work while we awaited repairs on Varuna. Along the way, we explored Donor Pass, which we learned had served as a very important gateway, opening up the path to the west coast for wagons, roads, and even trains. As we continued driving, we squeezed in a trip back to Varuna so we could check on the repair progress and give our feedback on the mock-up of the new bowsprit. So, what are we doing? Driving. Driving. Central, Southern California, and Nevada. Tripod. Nevada, yeah. So we're gonna go... The Sierras. The Sierras. That's, that sounds better. It does, it sounds pretty, even though it's not pretty right now. California, Nevada, Sierras, or something like that. Yeah. As we crisscrossed back and forth across California and Nevada, we managed to stumble along some pretty cool sites along the way. One of these was the Mojave Air and Spaceport, which in 2004 became the first U.S. facility certified for launches of reusable spacecraft. It has also become a storage location and boneyard for retired aircraft. As we continued our drive north up Route 395 through California's Owens Valley, we happened upon another very interesting site. Way out in the middle of the desert, Death Valley. Mojave Death Valley is on one side, and then Mount Whitney's on the other side. There's nothing out here today, so there should, certainly wasn't much out here in 1942, I think, when they were building this place. Yeah, whatever. so this was one of the ten Japanese internment camps in the U.S. I guess they thought they were at war with the Japanese, so if you're Japanese, we better take you away and throw you in the in, in a prison, basically. Right? Pretty much. In the middle yeah. of absolute nowhere. They couldn't get out, it was being fenced off, barbed wire, and yeah. had uh, guards. Yeah, war, World War II. Yep. The, uh, the United States put all the Japanese descendants, or any, Japanese, Japanese, any, Japanese, any Japanese, Japanese, right? Japanese, yeah, yeah. They, and they took like businesses away from people and stuff. And This Very is one of the bunkhouses that they're in, I guess. But. Yeah, it's a simple little like boards and not much else. And I think this is one of the nicer ones. This is, I think, one, like family apartments. I think they had a family in here or something. During World War II, the U.S. government placed over 110,000 men, women, and children into internment camps across the West Coast. Manzanar was home to over 10,000 of these people. So you can see there's, there's buildings all the way up and down here on either side. So they're now just parts of foundations or really nothing left at all, they were just up on stilts. So the reconstructed ones are the ones we were in before. And there was not much out here for anyone. Just beautiful mountains around, but you're in the middle of nowhere in the desert. And there was nothing to do back then, so this is where they all got put. Gotta love the paranoia. Mess Hall number 14. We have a menu here. This is from January 3rd, 1943. Breakfast. Stewed prunes, supper tomato soup, and baked noodles and cheese. Although a very desolate place, with extreme temperatures in both the summer and winter, the people here tried their best to make it home, working within the camp, participating in sports, and even building a traditional Japanese garden until the camp's closure in 1945. Right now, while our bowsprit's getting fixed, I was lucky enough to be able to pick up some contract work with my old employer, a fast casual Chinese uh, restaurant chain. but. The interesting thing is, is that I learned only recently is 
the fortune cookie actually came about from the Japanese. Yeah, that was interesting. And the reason that people associate it with the Chinese was because of the war, because of these camps. Yeah, so they because were locked away. They were, uh-huh. And that's when the Chinese, it kind of became a big thing, and the rest, they, they kind of ripped it off and stole it. Pretty much took it over and, and, and owned it for themselves. But it was based on, I think it was like a Japanese tea cake type, type yeah. of thing, is the, the thought. Um, but yeah, it was very interesting. Uh, and kind of interesting how things play out. Yeah. Lock people up and you change the course of history and what people actually think happened. Mm -hmm. and where things come from. So. Yeah, probably a lot of things like that. Yeah. So I'm just finishing up working on the video for you guys. And we're killing time, long weekend, so I don't think there's too much work going on in the boat this weekend. No, a little nothing bit, going not on there, and you don't have to work this weekend, so where are we at? Mammoth Lakes. On Labor Day weekend. Yeah, Labor Day weekend, so traffic's pretty crazy. Every Never... time that you come to the National Park, what are your plans today? We wanted to camp, hopefully. Alright. How long will you be staying with us? Um, plan was until Monday or Tuesday, right? National Forest, National Park Monument, and a little air quality monitoring station. The air quality here is actually the same as in LA. So we're in a big valley. This is where the LA Valley ends up and all the smog ends up in here. Known as Devil's Post Pile, this is a very cool formation of columnar basalt, which narrowly escaped destruction. Threatened by gold mining and dam projects, a forest service engineer, Walter Huber, rejected the proposals, and President William Taft named the area a national monument in 1911. So we're here in the Ansel Adams National Wilderness. And you can see this hill behind me, huge hillside. All the trees have been like burned and snapped off it's from the 1992 Rainbow Fire. It's crazy, it's just like a whole hillside gone. It's like toothpicks. In the middle fork of the San Joaquin River, Rainbow Falls plummets 101 feet. The hiking paths leading here crisscross with the John Muir and Pacific Crest Trail, and horseback trips depart from Red's Meadow Pack Station. Hey. Hello there, you are pretty. After our weekend away in the Sierras, it was time for Ty to get back to work. We drove northeast and into Reno for the second time in just a few weeks. Known as the biggest little city in the world, Reno is home to many casinos, 
and has a bit of an old school Las Vegas feeling. Early in the morning, and we are going hot air balloon hunting. What? What are we going? Did you say balloon hunting? Hot air balloon hunting. Oh, hot air balloon hunting. Yeah. Yeah, we uh, looked out the window and saw some hot air balloons flying around, so we thought we'd go check it out. Yeah. Let's see if we can call There they are right there. There they Look are. Right in front, looks like it's going to land on the road. Look at that. We are in Reno, I don't know, it's a park, and there's a giant hot air balloon thing going on. that this was the beginning of the Great Reno Balloon Race, which is the largest free hot air balloon event in the world. Held every September since 1982, this year was the 35th anniversary, and nearly 100 balloons had come from all over the country to fly here. While our schedule didn't allow us to stay for the full festival, before we took off to head back towards the coast, we were able to catch a glimpse of the Morning Glow Show. That's it for this time, guys. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave us a thumbs up, please. And don't forget to leave us a comment below. Yeah, and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. And if you'd like to join the journey as a part of our patron crew, click the link right over here. Thanks for watching. Cheers, see you later. Bye. And, and anything else inside I'm of the nation? What? You, you you're a dumb You're seriously? Is that, is that a joke? You're a idiot. There's a bee. I don't care about a bee. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna come up. Well then don't say anything. If you don't want me to move, then just don't say anything. I just wanted to hear you scream like a girl. I didn't scream like a girl, that's why I'm